Yeah, hello everyone, this is Spoiler, and uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, we are playing Hogwarts Legacy here. So, um, I got the Deluxe uh, version, which gives me three days early access, like so many others, and yeah, I actually took a day off from work to play this, and I just hope the music isn't too loud, but uh, we'll, we'll check on that. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll uh, tone it down a little bit, but uh, I've just spent a few minutes just staring at this screen here, because this is just... It's it's it gives me the vibes people it really gives me the vibes this is this is great I mean the music the logo it just uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it totally gives me the vibes and yeah uh, people are liking this game so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it so um, yeah let's have a look at it so I uh, yesterday I just uh, create the character to uh, have a go at the uh, character creator see how uh, what we can do there but we'll go through that process again so uh let's see can i can i delete that one yes i can delete that one so uh we'll delete that one and create a new character so so let's let's have a look here so yeah we get uh, we get this invitation to hogwarts uh, and i'm really curious to see why we are starting as a fifth year student i mean there has to be some explanation for that i'm really curious to see what is going on there so here's the here's the invitation. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st September. Uh, preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fick to help you uh, hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting cere ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So, okay, we are going to, uh, yeah, to Hogwarts, so let's see here. So let's create that character again. So I, I didn't, I don't know who I started out with. So let's go directly to the faces. I believe. Let me just tone down the skin color a little bit here. Yeah, that's a little bit too pale. Let's go with that one. So um, let's see which one did I have? It wasn't that one. It was that one. Yeah, that was the face I wanted. So I'm not trying to create myself here because it's not possible with the options we have. So I'm just going for some th something. Um, I don't know, someone who looks like a powerful visit basically. <laughs> so I need glasses. I do have glasses myself. So I need glasses here. Um, let's see skin color. Am I am I happy with that? Let's see. Is that? Uh, No, no, I want, I want him to look English, but not too English. That's a little bit pale. Let's go with that one. I don't, I think that's okay. We can go back and change it if we, if we don't like it. So, let's see, hairstyle. What is, uh, oh yeah, I know which one I had. Was it that one? Yeah, I think that was, that was the hairstyle I had. And uh, to go along with that, we will get a scar. And like that one. So, basically, the idea is he has this two uh, strands here just to... Well, um, cover up the score a little bit, okay, so that's the idea here. Uh, then eye color, um, I had a cool one yesterday, where was it? Oh, okay, it doesn't update. Was it that? What is it? Oh, okay, which one was it? That one, yeah, that one, I wanted that one. Then eyebrows, okay, what do we want for eyebrows here? Let's see. <laughs> so that's basically my eyebrow in case you're wondering that's that's how my eyebrow looks so uh, yeah I have that bar over, the, over my entire forehead now of course I shaved that part off but it's really annoying so let's see what is a good eyebrow for him that looks okay what's about that one that's a little bit too narrow I like I like big eyebrows pronounced eyebrows what is the difference between these two? Hmm. How about that one? That isn't too bad either. 
What else can we get? A little bit more bushy? No. No, that definitely not. Hmm. Is that a little bit too bushy? Oh, that one is not bad. So let's see. We have eyebrow. Eyebrow color will go with the same as the hair. So I, yeah, I think they're okay. Or maybe they're a little bit too straight. Do we get something similar? Oh, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. So which one did we have? So that one. Okay, let's... Let's go with the first one there. I think that's okay. Or... or yeah, or do I want to have that one? No, that's a little bit too, too much hair. Let's go with that one. Okay. So let's go back. Where was that? Uh, Freckles and Moles. Yeah, that one was uh, something I wanted to have a look at. Uh, which one was it? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, that one. That one. That's what I wanted. So where do we have complexion? Yeah, that's complexion there. Mm -hmm. What do we want to have? Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that looks that looks all right. So, uh, what was with the hair color? Yeah, I have the first one. That's what I wanted. So, uh, yeah, that's basically that. I think that's that's good here. So then, uh, let's see. Uh, obviously, that was quite something. Yeah, that's okay. And then, the weird thing here is, listen to this. If I pitch I it, I am down, indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It it sounds distorted. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Yeah, it it sounds distorted. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, that sounds distorted as well, so we'll just go... I am go... indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yeah, we go with the whittle, with the whittle one, we go for normal difficulty, and the name... Alexander, and then, uh, let me see, what did I have? Uh, I, I made a note, so, coffee. So, Alexander, coffee, let me just check that again. Because normally I just make any old name, I don't really care that much, but um, I really want to really wanna roleplay this as like a powerful wizard something here, so uh, I don't want to have a goofy name or something, so I, I actually checked on the internet for cool names. And the thing is, these names, they, they have meaning, so Alexander is basically uh, means defender of men, something like that, uh, it's, it's from uh, Greek origin. Um, and coffee apparently means uh, victorious or something like that. So he's a victorious defender of men <laughs> uh, If we look at the name, so that's basically what we're going for here. So he's a wizard Yeah, I think that's okay. He's, he looks like a, he looks like a reasonable wizard here So let's go and start our journey It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? 
We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your travelling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Okay, that was quite something. <laughs>
It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Okay, so let's, let's have a look around here. Let's walk towards the light, that's always a good idea. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me. I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah, let's have a look at the creepy ruin. That's definitely a good idea. Uh, follow Mind your step. Yeah. Okay. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Okay, and now? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Huh. Okay. Excellent. So use your camera to select an active target. Uh huh. Okay. And now. Um, guys, I'm stuck. Or do I have to do something here? That's just, I mean, that's just the clip here. Continue. Oh, okay. I need to hold the button. I can't just um, press it. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Ah, okay. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. 
So the, the, the game locks on automatically to uh, targets and then I just need to click, okay? And now? Ah, up there! But I wanna go here! <laughs> okay. So. Ah! We're close now, it's just ahead! Yeah, there's quite a wind going. Oh, jeez. Steady yourself! Reparo! Okay, now that was cool. That was really cool. So let's see here. Almost there. Okay. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. So, mini map. Okay. Hey, cheese guys, how long do I need to press this button? So, so we have a statue here. Investigate. Professor. This statue? This may have been his home. Okay. So there's something over there. No. Okay, in the menu we can disable stuff like that. I will see. I mean, if we have such a small place to the explore, we don't really need a quest marker, basically. But yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll go there and have a look at it. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor uh... Fig! Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. Okay. What is that? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. <laughs> Investigate. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Where are we? Yeah, where, where the fuck? What the hell? Someone is snoring. Huh. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> uh, where are we here? Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. 
This way, then. Stay close. Okay. After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there, Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That <laughs> waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. That was cool. That when was, was the really last time cool. this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Hmm. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <laughs> Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Yeah, there's a mm. door back there. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, now how do I do that? Okay. Ah! 
Okay. That's that's how you do it. Okay, that's a cool mechanic. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, I saw that door before I cast the spell, but anyway, so uh A door. Okay, no. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hmm. Quite the mystery we have at our hand here, huh? see something up ahead what is it that glow again but on the floor yeah I don't need a quest marker I see it Jesus no I'm um, uh... what happened when I moved towards the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, you've acquired one lightning charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Okay. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there's something here. Yeah, 
am trying to. <laughs> I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now, so. It's a little bit too hectic for my taste. Professor! Uh, Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, well, we'll have, we'll have to find out. What's happening? Oh, jeez. Wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah. Okay, there's another one of these things. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. So there's more statues. Oh, Jesus. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Um, I don't want to be on my own. Is that back there? There's something over there. Where was it? There was... I mean, there was a chest over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no? Where was it? Yeah, there. there's a chest over there. Let's see. I want to have a look at the chest. Um... I need to align these statues with their reflections. Yeah, okay. It will not let me do that. That one is aligned. Nice. Uh, let's do that one as well. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it. 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 Yeah. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stupid one. Stupid one. Do we have more? Okay, yes, we have. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with stupefying counter attacks. Stun enemies take extra damage. Okay. Understood. So yeah, I, I will need a bit to get the hang of this. Um, Lumos. Yeah, I will definitely need a bit. So where's that chest again? Revelio. There's the chest. Okay. Search that chest. Lumos. So I got a little bit of money. Have we anything else? Revelio. Lumos. So where's the where's the wisps there? Okay, so let's let's find Professor Fig. Uh, do I want the sprint? Okay. So there's another portal. Hmm. Okay. 
I guess we need to go through that. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> what the hell? Um. Okay. Doesn't do anything. There seems to be a chest here. A little bit of gold. Another waterfall will not go in there. There's the door. Uh, waterfall. Another chest. So let's get that. A little bit of gold, I guess. Yes. A little bit of gold. Other than that, I don't see much. What is this? What is this? Some sort of flask. did you what is this place I don't know but I found this floating above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories I wonder Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have... I have no patience. 
patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig! Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay, he seems nice. <laughs> Prepare. 
Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. Actually, I want to explore, so, um... Let's go with I'm that one. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. I wonder... Mmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Hmm. Curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Hmm. Uh, do I want to be in Ravenclaw? Let me see. I actually wanted to be in Gryffindor, of course, but... <laughs> so the hat says uh, Ravenclaw because I'm curious. I know that I have read... Uh, I've read up on what you need to say to get to a house, but... I would rather prefer to be a Gryffindor. I like the colors better. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. Except... Better be Gryffindor! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Okay. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter.
Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. So yeah, I would say that's a perfect cutoff for the first episode here. Um, yeah, I would say so. Uh, I have to say I'm in love with this game already. I mean, we haven't played much. We just basically watched cutscenes and uh, had some tutorial stuff, but uh, the presentation and it's really, I mean, it's really fantastic. I mean, the music, the the, the design, uh, the cutscenes, everything, it's really cool. I like the characters, I like the voice acting. Great stuff, really great stuff. I'm really in love with this game already. That's something that doesn't happen often to me, so that's really, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing more here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious to see uh, how it goes from here, but uh, yeah, we have plenty of mysteries. I mean, why the hell are we starting as a fifth year? What's with this Goblin Rebellion? What's with the, with the ancient magic? Uh, yeah, well, what's all about that? So we, we have a lot of stuff to find out. I'm really looking forward to uh, explore not only the world, but also this story and uh, yeah, find out what else we can do in this game and hopefully actually get some game gameplay under our belt. I know one thing already, uh, with all the buttons and spells and stuffs and actions and interactions, I will probably have, our, have a hard time learning all the uh, hotkeys and key bindings and stuff, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm not really good at that stuff, so uh, we'll see how, how we get along here. So can we, can we turn around so we see our character here? Yeah. Yeah, we can. So, but let's let's turn him around so he hasn't the uh, light on the back of him. So yeah, here's our wizard here, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, continue right from here in the next episode. I hope you like this episode. Uh, there wasn't much commentary, of course, because there were because there were mostly cutscenes. But uh, yeah, I hope you you enjoyed it. And if you have, please leave a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel and be back next time. Until then, I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Be safe. Stay healthy. Bye.